Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. This week, the International Space Station's population grew by four with the launch of Crew 6. Three, two, one. Engines full power and lift off of Crew 6. Go Dragon, go Falcon. On Thursday, Crew 6 blasted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida inside the Crew Dragon Endeavor spacecraft. NASA astronauts Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg, as well as United Arab Emirates astronaut Sultan al Nayadi and Roscosmos cosmonaut Andrei Fedayev, completed a transit of just over 24 hours to the orbital outpost, docking on Friday to the zenith port of the Harmony module. Following docking, the crew floated aboard the space station beginning their long-duration science and research mission. With the launch of Crew 6 complete, Crew 5 will soon be headed back to planet Earth. We have beautiful views of Earth from the cupola, but really all you have is that visual. I know for me personally, I'm really excited to feel the wind on my face, to smell the uh, grass in the air, and to uh, taste all the delicious food back on Earth. On Wednesday, Crew 5, which includes NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida, as well as JAXA astronaut Koichi Wakata and Roscosmos cosmonaut Anna Kakina, answered media questions from space about their mission and upcoming undocking and splashdown. The SpaceX Dragon Endurance spacecraft will undock from the space station early this month, splashing down off the coast of Florida to conclude their mission. Earlier this week, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio worked to install an experiment to measure the air quality inside the space station. The Analyzing Interferometer for Ambient Air 2, or ANITA 2, is a compact gas analyzer that can automatically analyze and quantify 33 trace contaminants in the atmosphere. ANITA 2 can also detect the presence of unknown substances that can be evaluated later on the ground. The device gathers a sample of the air every seven minutes. ANITA-2 serves as a technology demonstration in support of the preparation for human exploration missions beyond low Earth orbit. That's Face to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. You can stay up to date on all the happenings on station by following us on Twitter at space underscore station. We'll see you next week.